All right, so this is a bonus video because I've just found out of a thing I can do in my day 19 thing, which is just canning a bit square in terms of, um, you know, how I process things for that one, where uh, I'm currently using this big map as an accumulator, and I think I can do something much, much simpler. Um, the first thing that I wanted to try with this is only because right now the thing I'm doing all the time, and I thought of this like two minutes after I started the upload of the other video because it was done. Um, here, you know, I scan from the last bit of the left code always. And uh, I do that from the first position I have in the axis. But because I'm looking for a given square um, here, I can probably just, you know, scan here. Uh, starting from the, um, what would be the point first x plus square minus 1. And the value it gives me is the last x. And now if the last x fits, then I know that my map fits. Now, um, the other thing that I thought about is that I kept storing all of that stuff uh, that exists in uh, the map that I have for square fits map, right? And uh, actually, let me at least do the um, this bit here. And if I run it, uh, I used to have run times of about uh, 20 seconds for it. So I'm going to call my uh, race function. Uh, OK, what is going on with my shell? Interrupt, continue, advent, race, day 19. And I'm hoping it will be faster, but this is only the first optimization. I think I can do much better than this. And the reason I think I can do much, much better um, is simply because I don't actually need, I think, to track this big accumulator of all the maps. Because I already know all the points and the coordinates I need in my thing. So uh, wherever I do my fit square, or start with the map, I can just... Thro drop that stuff right away. Uh, and so no map here, no map here, because it's kind of cheap to just look the points up without the map in them, right? So um, if this is not clear, you'll see very rapidly. Uh, here, last from a square fits map, new map, and a new map here is no longer needed. And here's what I'm going to do. Here I have this kind of value where I'm just updating the map. Don't really give a crap about this one. The big logic is here. The square fits map, right? And so I am right now in what should be the bottom row. But I might as well be on the top row. But I know that from where I have, I have to start looking from the bottom row. And uh, so, okay, I, I checked the time. This gave me 10 seconds, which is about halving my duration of what I needed. Um, the top row I need to check is only uh, the top left and the top right corner. So technically, even that last from left that I had here is not required, right? Because the thing I'm checking is that if I have this big square like this, and I'm, I'm assuming I'm at this point, I want to check upwards and to the right if it exists. And technically I can do that by scanning uh, downwards and that one. So the thing I'm going to do and assume in here, rather than scanning all my rows for all the content, I'm going to not give a crap about this one. I'm currently at this point. I've just gotten this, this is last X that I have below. And all I need to check now is the bottom row at the first position as the one I have. So um, instead of doing this, it's going to be the bottom row is going to be here. And the only thing I need to check now is where's my uh, check coordinate on this one. And uh, so check coordinate on the bottom row, which is going to be the um, First X I have on the bottom row, and because the rows are growing, then if that one is, ah, uh, I need to code, code is fine, of 
in, and if it is in, I think I found my result and my value, the final one, should be uh, the top left corner, which is currently uh, first x and y. And that should be it. Uh, if it is out, then I can fit the square with all the little logic stuff I was doing here of calculating the little jump and all the things. And I think this should work. I don't know if it's going to be faster because of the map looks up, uh, the, the map, the map lookups and everything. Um, but my feeling is that I will now only check a very limited number of coordinates per row and I will have uh, an extremely small amount of uh, things to carry. This jump, I'm not even sure if it's worth uh, trying. Uh, but you know, uh, oh yeah, I only need to do the check. I need to check if the last X is also in uh, in the boundaries I have. So um, I can do this in a very, very interesting way here, which is going to be um, Last x minus first x is greater than or equal of square of minus one. And here I'm going to do an and also check. So if that one passes, then it gets there and I will get in. In any other case where I get out or false because the first expression failed, um, then I will get this jump, which should reuse the same logic and um, Actually, yeah, and this is going to be the result. The result in here, what I need to do there, if, if the result was out, I get this. If uh, yeah, so if the result, so in the case it is out, then I know I'm in the rows that I need exploring. And if the result is false, then I know that I'm not even in the rows worth exploring yet. So the jump is going to be one and here it's going to be jump by the square and I think that this may be a lot faster but we'll see for that so let me compile and now hopefully that takes under 10 seconds for that one I should be checking way fewer points come on just work it seems worse than it was no fit. Oh, okay. So I, I screwed the logic. Um, all right. Um, no fit is when I get there. The first X is undefined. Okay. So I am going to play with this one a little bit and come back with the thing optimized because I'm sure I can't get it fast enough. Okay. Uh, I played a bit and I recall the reason why this does not work. Uh, it's because, as I said, I was trying to do this check like that, but this is never going to fit. I really need to look from the first one because, you know, the first one might be shifted that way. And my actual first square is going to be that way. So I need to keep looking upwards from that one. I dropped the little out clause. I did a quick check and I found out that it doesn't do anything significant. So here, uh, when I was checking the code, I was checking on uh, the bottom row, which I put there. If I make it check upwards, um, so actually, I had played with this, but this is going to be the top row now instead. And I'm going to refer to that calculation more than once. So that's why I'm extracting it, top row. And that would be top row on this one, I think. So now if I try to raise that one, I should get, oh, here we go. Oh, that's not the wrong, that's not the right result though, I think. Uh, yeah, because now I need to check not just the bottom one, but also uh, I know the top one is likely to check. The one I want to check is the top right row. So it's going to be the... So here I had... Here, what I had should have been instead the bottom right corner or just the right edge. 
And so here, what I wanted to do with this would have been the right edge. And the coordinate I check then will be the right edge, top right, does it fit in? And that hopefully works better to give me the right result, which should have been, uh, I don't recall. I probably have it in my buffer somewhere. Uh, but I'll know by doing the little multiplication by hand, which I realized as well that I had not done properly. Because if I look in here, I had the result, but it was not done by my function, so I'm going to add it after the fact. Uh, uh, I'm still at 10 seconds. That's disappointing. Okay, so I'm going to fix that little result, which is going to be x, y here. At least I have a little uh, 10,000 plus y, but I should have had at least that little gain in speed for all my checks which is not that much, about 10 seconds. So now I should get the actual proper result in my thing. Uh, and I'm checking stuff using at least a lot less memory, which should be a good benefit for that. And I'm getting all my coordinates proper. Yep, all right. Oops, did I forget to come? Oh, I did my change in the big map. Champ. Super champ. Uh, I'm just going to delete the big map so I don't get annoyed by it anymore. So delete this. And I'll see if I think that's what I could have looking at the code. That's all right, check, then I check the coordinates, then I do the skip. There's probably a way to skip in diagonals that may work better. Who knows? Um, yeah. Actually, my top row could have a more aggressive check when I skip based on where I am, because if it's not there, but yeah. Okay, about 10 seconds, 9290812, 9290812. That sounds like the good result. Uh, the other thing I could probably do is improve my tight loop. Which here, you know, I spawn the program right now, and the thing is that I run the program, and when I'm done, I'm done. Uh, but I can certainly do something a bit more effective here, which would be that... Um, instead of carrying my code and everything, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to run the program, uh, and I'm going to use this little feature that is um, a self-recursive function. And so the thing I will do in this spawns is that I will, in that process, um, Define this function f is. I'm going to do it internally here. So this is going to be encode run program this and if I'm going to loop the program, I'm going to have the code that I have been spawning here and uh, the I/O. That was here that way. And that I was passing to the program by doing the code like this. So here what I'm going to spawn instead is loop code map. Uh, I'll put this going to the parent. That's going to be my looping program. And the thing that I can do with it is that because I'm just running the program here uh, with the code. Here, 
here. Uh, it will give me the code when it's done anyway, right? That's the thing. And so I can just loop the code again. That's what the program does. Until uh, I tell it to stop. Okay. After zero. Just run the freaking thing again. And what I'm hoping with this one then is that uh, it loops. I pass in the PID instead. And the fit square is going to be faster because I'm just removing a lot of the overhead of my internal thing. Um, that will probably break a few other ones. That's fine. So fit square here. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, S code is now a PID that I'm talking to directly. And all my last from left here, I'm just going to make a make a variation where it's going to be P for a PID. Fit square is fine. Last from left is going to P4 PID and check coordinate is already going to, well, I'm going to move it. So I only need last first from left and these. So uh, square fits map, I think is no longer needed, but it's exported. So those are the three ones that I need to adapt. First from left with a PID. With, oops, with PID, and that's only to call check coordinate with PID. First from left with a PID. And I'm hoping that not having to spawn and lock and wait for the result for each of them is going to speed things up. Because here, in check coordinate from the PID, I only get the PID in here. No need to spawn anything. Just B. And I can instead. Receive IO zero is going to be out and IO one is going to be in. That's the end of it. Check coordinate P. That's all right, it's unused code P here. I'm just going to replace code by PID in all of them. not use why is it not use square that should be fine error here what's the error oh loot code I need to close the map and let's see how long this one takes instead Oops, exploded the thing. Why did run program explode? Undeft encode run program. Uh, so I'm going to export my little run program function again. Because it is useful in some cases. Now it's getting a bit long. Hopefully it's a bit faster. We'll see what the constant factor was in restarting the, the code at each time and copying the data. So that's about 1.5 seconds uh, shaved off, which is not ideal, but it is kind of better than what we had. And um, that's good, I guess. That's going to be uh, sufficient as an optimization from 20 seconds to 8.5. There's probably a way to make it even faster, but now I'm truly out of time. So, uh, yeah, back again. See you back for day 20.